today I am at TC's Rockets local toy comic book store here in San Diego. They also have cards and board games. They have it all one-stop shop for all your nerdy needs here behind me. TC's Rockets is head on inside and hopefully uh, we find something cool to take home for the collection. I haven't been here in a while so I'm excited to see what they have. This is an awesome store. It's huge. If you're a Marvel Legends collector, this is your place. Just check out this gigantic wall of Marvel Legend figures. And then on the other side of this wall, it's the same thing. Another big old wall from the floor to the ceiling full of Marvel Legends. But I came over here to this corner because these figures caught my attention. The Tales from the Crypt Keeper. I used to watch this cartoon, Saturday morning cartoon. It was great, it was awesome. Here I'm looking for the Crypt Keeper, which they did have for 20 bucks, not a bad price. And I definitely would have picked it up if it wasn't for what I picked up in today's toy hunting trip, which you will see at the end of the video. So the Crypt Keeper is gonna have to wait for next time if it's still there. But here we have some Kenner Indiana Jones figures. You got that little playset, even got that Cairo Swordsman on the card and that LGN on the left those LGN Indiana Jones figures are kind of rare tough to find and pretty pricey here we got some uh, just a whole bunch of mixed figures in these Detoff cases as you can see there there's a, a dinosaur there was even Smurfs in there you got a Viewmaster just a whole bunch of mix of stuff up in here you guys just gotta look around you don't know what you're gonna find in here uh, but here you see the other giant wall of Marvel Legends figures they even got some of the original Toy Biz Marvel Legends at the very top and they have a huge selection of back issues uh, for your comic book collectors I did look through them for a little bit uh, I need to get a list of comics and get back into it and pick up some here and there but this store is crazy big as you can see here this is the gaming section you got those Star Wars miniature game uh, pieces as well as they got paints here for, for miniatures warhammer dungeons and dragons you got your more traditional board games over here and then like look at all these tables you can just come here play with your friends or meet new friends and just have at it man play some games and then you got pokemon magic the gathering all kinds of good cards but let's get back to the action figures this glass case here is awesome this is the Master Universe case. There you have a boxed Castle Grey Skull. You got sealed figures, graded figures, loose figures. Take your pick here. As you can see, these graded figures look awesome. They got the mini comic and the accessory to the side, all nicely displayed. You can see everything. I mean, you can't deny they are awesome looking in those cases snake face on card I mean check it out I just I like the way they look there's a Sun Man one of the origin Sun Man's and ninja right there with all his weapons the little mini comic I mean they look cool created figures and they definitely up their value of your collection here's a Shira playset. A couple more graded figures. They got Mecha Neck. Straddles is in the back. And here we got some heavy hitters when it comes to Master of the Universe. King Rangdor and then Scareglow. I mean he looks nice. Maybe I should send my Scareglow in to get graded. If it's gonna look like that, yeah. I'm in. But here we have more created figures. Skeletor He-Man look awesome. Got some more card ones in the back. 
these little He-Man minifigures are cool. I remember those at Target and Walmart. My son got some of those in his collection. Yeah, fake War. Those power fighters were really cool to see. I've never seen those before. Then you got Blackface Grizzlor. That's one figure I still need for my collection. I don't have that variant. He's just different enough. I, I, I want to pick him up. Usually I don't pick up variants, especially if it's like colors. Like, But that one looks really cool. I, I kind of dig that one a lot. And now we're going to get into some more heavy hitters in these upcoming display cases. Here we got some green back WWE Hasbro figures. It's Billy Gunn, Adam Bomb. Those are figures I still need in my Hasbro collection. Uh, it's cool to see them carded. And then you got some Silver Hawks as well. With that awesome blue card art on the back. And then this G.I. Joe section is pretty big. There's not only one flag. There's two flags here in this section. And you got, you got some Tomahawks up there on top. And then you got more vehicles and figures here in these cases behind that you got some transformers stuff here you got some graded ones and then you got just some box ones not a big selection of transformers this is pretty much all they had for transformers here but they got some cool stuff here's a toy line i have never seen in person computer warriors but i have heard of them very cool to see toy line that I've never seen before and then right below that there's more G.I. Joe's these are all graded loose and carded figures it's awesome they got so many so many G.I. Joe's and then one of my favorites or my favorite part of the store is the Star Wars section the vintage kind of Star Wars section just check out all the stuff they have here that's great they even got the droids figures on card graded they got loose figures carded figures they even got vehicles on the very top uh, this is about as close as we're gonna get zooming in this is all behind the counter because you can't have people jacking this stuff man uh -uh, they're not you don't want them uh grab and go people here in san diego <laughs> but very cool to see awesome section Here's more, a little bit lower price range. These are non-graded figures. You can see 100 bucks, $125. Not bad, and they still look cool. One of these days, I'm going to give me one of those carded uh, Star Wars figures. And then at the very bottom, you got some carded, graded, last 17 figures. I still need that A-Wing for my collection, as well as this atrocious figure right here. Imperial dignitary garbage, but I need them to complete my Star Wars collection. And then you got just a whole bunch of different other mix of figures like these Galaxy Rangers that never came out in the US, only in Europe, the UK. So much to see at this store. It's pretty big, lots of great figures everywhere cards, comics, games. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. Quick look at TC's Rockets. Enjoy uh, the rest of the video. Got some more uh, figures here coming up. You got some Star Wars as well. So enjoy.
All right, everyone, I just picked up some action figures that I did not have in my collection. That's a brand new toy line. I'll show you guys what they are when I get home. After these messages, we'll be right back. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my official Soul Couch Holland merch store. Link in the description below. Here you'll be able to order SCS logo t-shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white, black, or any other color that's available here for your liking. We'll even have some hoodies as well as some special designs I had made for conventions like the ones you see here. And even have stuff for the ladies. And check back often as I'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time. Merch store link in the description below to order your SCS logo shirts today. I'm back home in the toy room. I picked up some cool figures, figures I never thought I would pick up. It's a brand new toy line for me. I don't have any of these in the collection, but first I want to say TC's Rockets. It was cool being back. I've been months and months since I've been back to TC's Rockets. Uh, it's a great store. They have everything. They have action figures, comic books, board games. Uh, what else? They got like role playing stuff like Dungeons and Dragons. They got Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, uh, card games. They have it all there. Uh, they even have a snack, a little snack shop in there. And next door, they have a pizza place. Uh, Rocket's Pizza. It's crazy. You get yourself some pizza, go next door, uh, shop for some toys, play some games. You saw the massive uh, area of gaming for tables. And they also have uh, autograph signings there. From time to time i met ray park darth maul there um maybe like a year or two ago and then just a few weeks ago they had lou ferrigno the original hulk the incredible hulk from the 70s tv show uh sadly i missed it i was working otherwise i would have gone i used to watch that show all the time when i was a kid uh, but to get to the pickups i ended up picking up like i said a brand new toy line i never I never had actually I never really see these either uh, I haven't seen them at all like in person uh, but here we got computer warriors evil viruses are attacking the world's computers and the computer warriors have been generated to stop them a soccer trophy changes into an evil techno tank forcing the computer warriors down hiding in a Pepsi can the computer warriors fight back and deliver a direct hit but the viruses keep coming, so the computer warriors convert a clock into a digital laser blaster and wipe out the virus air attack. Yeah! Computer warriors, expect the unexpected. Each sold separately. Computer and pencil sharpener available for 1990, only from Mattel. I was looking around the store, and I didn't want to pick up just any old thing. Uh, and when I saw these computer warriors, I was like, man, that's something like very, it's a weird toy line that I, I've never seen before. It's the first time I've seen them like in a toy store. Uh, so I, I went for it. I picked them up. They're fairly cheap. And uh, the owner also threw in a discount there as well. Uh, but first up, we have this guy right here. He's a villain. His name is, it's spelled A-S-Y-N-K. So... Asnick, Asnick, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's a computer term because it seems like all these figures have some kind of name that's a computer term. And this guy, he's a villain, he's an evil booby trap expert, is what it says. Uh, the whole computer wars line is nuts, it's a crazy line. These are like PC boards that come to life, like they got like these little figures, mini figures. And they're supposed to be like computer viruses that are attacking the world. They're jumping out of the computer. You can see the back, the card art here in the back. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but this guy is called Mega Heart. He is the evil virus commander. So according to the back, it says the computer is the arena in the struggle of good versus evil. A secret world of transforming adventure. Get ready to log on and expect unexpected. Nuts. So I guess these viruses escape the computer and they're hell bent on taking over the world and they're taking over everything inside your, your kid's bedroom. They got taking over your computers, taking over soccer balls, Pepsi cans. Uh, as you for that Pepsi can, 
Uh, if you guys don't know about Riggy's toys on YouTube, check out his channel. He lives over there in the Midwest where they got like tons of toy shows. Like every, it seems like every weekend and they got crazy toy shows. But he recently went to one of his toy shows over there in his area and he picked up that Pepsi can. So that's kind of, I think, what was in the back of my mind, that Pepsi can, because I think it's cool. A transforming Pepsi, Pepsi can. Uh, so I, I kind of want that in the future. So this was kind of like, I got to pick up some other figures as well. Uh, for one of these days, I will pick up that Pepsi can. It's cool. And I think I remember Pixel Dan years ago doing a collection video on his computer warriors. There's like a computer, I think it's a computer that, that turns into a playset, which is nuts. Uh, but let's get to the good guys right here. This guy's called Debug. You see all, all their names are kind of like computer related, like Mega Heart the Villain, like Mega, like Megabytes, I guess. So this is Debug. He's second in command of the Computer Warriors. And he's uh, going to be helping and taking down the viruses led by Mega Heart. And then we got Rom, of course, Rom. And this guy is the leader of the computer warriors, the heroic computer warriors. So here we have it. And they all come with this. It's like a computer chip board, PC board. And it kind of looks like it's like a little airplane, somewhat like a flying, a glider or something. You can see here in the back, they're riding them right there. So all pretty cool. They're made by Mattel. These came out in 1989. So very cool. Uh, I never knew about these as a kid. I was playing with He-Man, G.I. Joe's, Transformers. These seem kind of like a toy line that a nerdy kid would get. A mom would get a, a nerdy kid. So like I said, I never knew about Computer Warriors. So maybe there was like nerdy kids in the late 80s that uh, got Computer Warriors as uh, toys. Uh, but it was cool picking these up. I'll definitely be on the lookout for more. Uh, I want to get that Pepsi can. Of course, that thing is so cool. Uh, head over to Reed's Retro Toys. Check out his uh, his channel. Check out the video where he picked up that Pepsi can from Computer Warriors. Uh, but yeah, happy to add this weird toy line to the collection. While I was editing this video, I noticed that this guy, Asnak, he's on a different card. There's all kinds of different language on here. You got French. German, Italian, and even the name on the card back is not Computer Warriors. It says Computer Force. Computer Force. I just noticed that while editing. I don't know what's going on here, everybody. Have the evil viruses already infiltrated my phone? Your computer? What's going on, guys? They changed the name of this card back to Computer Force. What's, what's going on? They're, they're infiltrating they're trying to take over the world already they're starting here with my with my phone and your computer guys what's going on the viruses are attacking we need the we need the good guys where where are they that's it for today's toy hunting video at tc's rockets here in san diego it's a cool store huge store one-stop shop for all things nerdy like i said before comics toys cards board games they have snacks pizza next door i believe they sell sandwiches there as well uh it's it's not as big definitely a fun time if uh, you live anywhere near san diego live in san diego come visit san diego check them out tc's rockets cool store and they also throw rocket con uh local toy and comic convention but i don't know if it's gonna happen this year i was talking to the owner uh, he told me they're trying to find a venue but who know who knows if it happens it might be next year uh but yeah that's a great event and they're the ones who put it on tc's rockets uh but thanks again everybody for watching let me know what you thought of the store what did you think of all those graded figures what do you what's your opinion on graded figures i know some people love them some people don't i mean i i don't care either way i wouldn't mind having a graded figure i would probably just buy one already graded as opposed to send, sending them in. I know they could take some time. and uh, But I don't know. Ed said everybody's opinion is different on graded figures. They do look nice in those acrylic cases. 
that you cannot deny. They look amazing in those acrylic cases. And especially those loose figures like those uh, He-Man figures. They come with the little the accessories. They put them off to the side. They, they look really good. They're really good displayed. Uh, but thanks again, everybody, for watching. Let me know in the comments below what, what you have picked up at TC's Rockets. Would you go for the graded figures? Or would you go for some of the non-graded figures? I had a big selection of the both. Uh, but thanks again, everybody, for watching. And I'll catch you on the next toy hunt. I am SoCal Shaolin. I am out.